So my name is Marshall Montano from Trinidad and Tobago, the land of steel pan, calypso, and my genre, soca music. Um, here in New York right now with LargeUp.com. My life is probably turned up most of the time on you know the loudest volume and probably the fastest pace. In more recent times, you know, soca music has become more chill, like more relaxing. But soca was always something and still is something that's based on high energy. You know, a lot of energy. You look at reggae music and sometimes you know the ritual is for reggae music is to kick back, is to relax, is to is to go down, is to mellow out, you know? But for soca music is to hype up, is is the actual difference, you know, and um I think in preparation for that, you know, you have to be somewhat fit. This one going and fog up the place. <laughs> Anybody we know soca music and, 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 and carnival goes together with people in the gym, people working out, people being able to have your stamina. When I started doing songs like Big Truck and I started realizing that power soca was something that people love and I could do it well, I started pushing the envelope. Songs like Toro Toro and you know, high powered soca songs. And I would be there on stage literally running off every five minutes, freaking out. You know, feeling like I'm gonna throw up or I'm gonna faint. And I had to develop a mental stamina to be able to, to do a two hour performance and probably do two shows a night. And this was because of the type of music and you know, it, it helped me to, to sort of change my life. You know, because I'm so energetic and so hype, my ritual before I go on stage is a lot of silence, you know, a lot of quietness. Being a soca star from so young and being in such great demand, you know, every carnival I've been doing the most shows, or every summer I've been doing the most tours. So my entire life has been touring shows, parties, carnivals, whistles, huge crowds. And in 2000, you know, I wanted my music to get deeper. I thought people wasn't getting the message of who Marshall Montana was. So I wanted to get deeper and I sought out meditation and silence. So I started searching for, for ways to meditate and, and, and go deeper into the music. Um, this was around the year 2000, you know, when I was very famous, Marshall Montano, 1997, Big Truck, got signed to, the, to Atlantic Records and went out to make music in Oslo, Trondheim in the snow, and in, in Sweden, in Solna, in the jungle, you know, and it was hard for me. I had to find strength. And you know that didn't work out. The record record deal didn't work out for me because it was so much of me being away from soca, away from touring, away from what I was accustomed to. I had to find strength, and I turned to meditation. I turned to transcendental meditation, sitting down and meditating at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. And it's about you know your connection with creator and creation. And these things have helped me because I always believed that my music was based on real unity, like uniting people, uniting Caribbean culture with international standards. So I always use this meditation and this depth to help me build really strong, you know, purpose and build integrity in my music. And I think, you know, it has helped me to stay calm, but it adds to the one trait that I think is really, really critical about me, you know. I move around a lot, I make a lot of noise, I do it really fast with my wings flapping really fast, but I look really slow, like a hummingbird. You know, it's just like you're focusing a lot of deep hype energy into a calm body. Everybody getting it, powder. Everybody catching it, powder. This is how we celebrate, powder. powder. And you cannot get away.